the 9070 XT is impressive, but it draws quite a lot of power. And this guy drew down almost 317 watts in gaming. So let's fix that. Oh, and if you're lucky, a 9070 can catch the XT. Welcome to Machines and More. So yeah, today is launch day. I hope you, if you are shopping for the card, you can get what you want at the price you want. Uh, as I shared later in the day yesterday, the pricing for the Prime OC cards isn't actually quite where I'd like to see it. So it's 720 for the XT, 660 for the non XT. So I am a little bit disappointed about that. Uh, but unfortunately this uh, market, GP market's kind of wild right now. So. It is what it is. But that being said, the main focus here, I did want to show you how well the XT undervolts and how you can tune it a little bit, uh, given the high board power spec on it. I would anticipate that a lot of SFF enthusiasts are looking to drop power a little bit, uh, just, you know, reduce the impact on the system. This early on in the GPU lifecycle, we still have to wait for the drivers and the software to mature, but there are a couple ways that you can play around with it right now. One easy way, simple way is just AMD's own software. In Adrenaline, you can set a voltage or a clock offset. There's usually a one-click undervolt button that's, you know, not great, but it's quick and dirty. Uh, but that's not present here in this current edition yet, so my assumption is that's also still in the works. In ASUS's GPU Tweak 3, you usually have a voltage frequency curve which you can pull up, and that makes this process way easier, but I didn't see it yet. I reached out to my ASUS contact and he confirmed that's gonna come in a future update. So you kinda have to be a little bit creative right now. I, I played around with it and was still able to get a decent prelim result to show you. Uh, long story short, shaved about 57 watts and got equal performance on the XT. So I'll show you real quick. Start with the baseline. I just used Unigen Superposition at 4K optimized because that's actually a very consistent you can use whatever benchmark you prefer. It just has to be running the GPU at close to full 100% load. 19765 is our baseline starting point. So the first thing I actually want to do is figure out how much of the inefficient power I can shave off and get rid of. So we can kind of infer that AMD was gunning for the 5070 Ti pretty hard. And I do think they pushed a lot of power just to get as close as possible, you know. Uh, when you're within three to four percent of the competition, every little bit counts for marketing as, you know, basically a 5070 Ti. But that final mile comes at a big cost. Dropping power to 95 percent, you still get 99 percent of the benchmark score. That's what we want to see, right? We're getting rid of some of that inefficiency. Uh, 90 percent power, still 98 percent, 85 percent, 96.8 percent of the score scores so on and so forth i went all the way down to 70 percent an interesting little tidbit this is right around where the stock 9070 scored which was 17821 but that was at 74 percent power and i mentioned this in my launch review even if you were to drop power down to the you know 9070 uh, equal level you will get slightly more performance than the non-xt and the extension of that logic is that at the same performance you can expect the power draw to be a little bit lower but I'm guessing most of you don't want to drop your 9070 XT to 9070 levels, right? Because you, you know, paid for the XT. I know it's not as easy to see on the graph here, but I can kind of make out that uh, sort of inflection point around the 85% power level. So that means we're going to be on a more efficient uh, curve at, at these power levels. So ultimately I settled on 82% power after playing with it a little bit. And with that in mind, we can now dial in the undervolt. So now I I know it says voltage offset, but it will actually shift the voltage frequency curve. And the reason I know that is because, for example, when I ran with a minus 60 millivolt offset, that score ended up going up to 19400, which is roughly the 90% power at the stock curve. And this is ultimately silicon dependent, but I was able to get as far as minus 100 millivolts while still being game stable. Now I haven't had enough time to give it the full fur mark treatment, but your mileage may vary with this, right? Um, at this point, 19615, which is basically full performance, right? Fired up Cyberpunk at this point. This one was drawing down about 425 watts at the wall. Board power was just slightly under 260 watts, and that's what we wanna see. 
At this point with the reduced power, we're running similar fan speeds to what the 9070 did during its uh, gaming test. So I, I'm confident I could do a little bit better with the curve in front of me, but saving around about 60 watts and getting equal performance, I think a lot of you would be pretty happy with that. Oh, about the 9070. So with the 9070 running the other direction by adding power to chase the 9070 XT, uh, raising the power limit to the max 10% gets you around 260 watts and kind of playing with the voltage curve uh, offset to minus 120 millivolts, uh, I did end up with a result of 19315. And you know, it's a little bit less than the stock uh, XT, but in Cyberpunk that worked out to be one frame less on average. It's the same here because of the rounding, but you know, it's, it's, it's basically the, the XT. So if you're feeling lucky, it's possible you can get the 9070 to close to uh, XT levels. In general, the XT is just gonna have the better silicon to start with. So I can imagine that it can be fine tuned even better to, to what you see here. So yeah, go try it out. At a minimum, I think most XT users should just drop the power five to 10%. You are going to get substantially most of the performance out of the card at that point without the heat and um, you know, extra power bill. So make sure you give a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe and all that good stuff. Hopefully there is inventory at this point, uh, fingers crossed for you. Please support the channel. Use the links where you can. Big thanks.